let us conspire to make the Igbos get to the villa. Then guys like me can run for presidency. Shegun Shogumi says. <laughs> that, wow. Yeah, it is time for the Igbos to be president. And uh, he has said it, that there are a lot of people rooting for Peter Obi and are saying, let's get, out, let's get out of uh, PDP and other parties. So now, Shegun Shogumi is trying to say that we should conspire to get an Igbo man to become the president. Is that possible in Nigeria of today, where the Southwest and the North has come together to say Igbo man can never smell that seat? But again, let's dive into the details to see exactly what Shegun Shogumi is trying to say. In an exclusive interview with Arise Television, People's Democratic Party member Shegun Shogumi said that his party must conclude with the Igbos in order to seize power in 2027 or in Nigeria. Shoumi remarked during the interview, one of the reasons I am not stating that we would now begin conducting the presidency is because of the Igbo question. A Rice Television's official ex handle posted a video, a video clip featuring Shogun Shoumi and this screenshot um, this screenshot is front of that clip. I am a Yoruba man. He stated, when asked about the necessity of having an Igbo president, and uh, one day I will be a president can a presidential candidate. Go ahead and cash that in if you also if you so desire. However, I can't help but wonder how we can rationalize the fact that our southern neighbors who were allies in our endeavor prior to the six zones still haven't elected a president. He stated, I believe that we will wait for the Igbos, try to push them as much as possible, and I hope they will also take it easy. These are his thoughts on what should be done. He further added, let's try and conspire to make them get, uh, get the villa once so we can remove the need to be looking for a zonal presidency and then phenomenal guys like me can say okay we are running for president but as for the chairmanship by whiskers hey, i am the best material that they have got and i will hope that they can see it as well but if they can't see it i can't help them sometimes life is difficult for the blind <laughs> Uh, wow. So just like what I was saying, Segu show me saying that we need to help the Igbos to get to the presidency. And once they have it, then we can remove rotational presidency across Nigeria and then people like him can go to become the president. <laughs> now wow. So the thing here is that uh Segu show me is rooting for the has started campaigning for the Igbos gradually. Say so it is difficult to say that our brothers, certain brothers who have been with us in making sure Nigeria goes as one Nigeria had never been to Asuro is unbelievable. And that is a very good remark. So the question now is what can we do to get the Igbo to become president? They have to be. And that is what Shigu show me is trying to say. And this will be part of the attempt to remove rotational presidency in Nigeria. That is one thing. So if they remove rotational presidency in Nigeria, then <laughs> if they remove rotational presidency in Nigeria, then people like him can become the presidential candidate. In another bread, he came out to say there are a lot of young people rooting for Obi and they are saying let's get out of PDP. Okay. So not just himself asking for support and conspiracy to help the Igbos get there. There are a lot of people, young people, rooting for Peter B. And some of them are also in PDP, but they're working for Peter B. And they're saying, let's get out of PDP. So according to the PDP chief, Tishikushomi, many young people who have called for a break from the PDP and the formation of a new party are rallying around Peter B. Hmm. A desire to change his existing, his existing political affiliation crossed his mind. 
he said. So the significance of bolstering and maintaining the current 25-year-old party, he said, despite his awareness of their passion, he warned that they would still face the same problem for the next 10 years, regardless of whether they left it or not. So for the 2023 election, Mr. Peter Obi, a candidate for the Labour Party, drew in uh, urban, urban, urbanites, okay, drew in urbanites and young people sick with Nigerian politics. He took home the most votes in the commercial center of Lagos State, home to the largest city in Africa. Bola Ametinubu and Obi, both from the Labour Party, received 582,454 votes in narrow uh, victory. So he said in an interview with Arise TV, the young people want a new party. They want a fresh party. And I am resisting the urge to leave the party. To be honest, they are, there are a lot of young people rooting for Peter Obi, and they are saying, let's get out of PDP. Let's create our party and let's run with it. Hmm. And I am trying to tell them, okay, I get your enthusiasm for that. We may end up doing that, but let us try as much as possible to build to last this uh, this 25 years old party. Even if we all emptied ourselves off, off it, we are still going to be stuck with this same problem for 10 years. Okay. So what Shegusho is trying to say here is that there are a lot of young people rooting for Peter B in PDP and they are asking him that they can, should get out of Labour Party, I mean out of PDP to form their own party and run with it. And I'm sure when they form that new party, they will try to get Peter B out of Labour Party too to join them. So now um, he has confessed Shegusho Umi that he's resisting the urge to leave the party. They want to build the party a bit. The party has been old for about 25 years now. And if they don't change things, they will still be stuck where they are for the next 10 years. So he's resisting the order of leaving the party. But what he's saying here in combination is that there are a lot of young people rooting for Peter B. And so if we can help an Igbo man to become president, we'll then remove the rotational presidency. And from there, people like him who are neutral, and, uh, you know, who are neutral in their mind can become a president. He said he will become a presidential aspirant or presidential candidate in Nigeria. We should, we should take it to the bank. That is his position. So with that, it is obvious that uh, if Kai is not taking it, Shogun Shogun will leave that party and may not go to Labour Party, but rather form another party and try to woo Obi into that party because Obi himself is tired of Labour Party with the behavior of the Labour Party leaders at national level. So with the way things are, let's see how um, this show, Shogu Shogu Mi and his supporters are going to root for Peter Obi. Like once somebody said that Peter Obi is a glory shared by all, <laughs> or rather a grace shared by all. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment on Shigusho's uh, statement and perspectives.